But prior to the coronavirus outbreak, this Brooklyn business served as an upscale eatery. But now it's taking on a different role. News Force Ida Siegel shows us the restaurant's transformation into a relief center for fellow hospitality workers in need of a hot meal. They start lining up six feet apart at a little after four o'clock outside the Gertie restaurant in Williamsburg. Thank you guys very much. You're welcome. People are picking up hot meals. Cheesesteaks. And groceries, even coveted toilet paper, all for free, prepared by folks who used to be their industry colleagues. I'm here because I work, well, did work at a bar, so I'm not unemployed at the moment. These people are all restaurant and hospitality workers who, for the first time in their careers, have found themselves out of work with no timeline to return. And they are suddenly having to worry about affording basic things like milk. And canned foods. I worked at SCAR as I was the GM there, and about a couple weeks ago, obviously, everything fell apart, and a lot of people who are in need of food and supplies and unemployment checks haven't quite hit yet. While most restaurants had to close altogether, the guys at Gertie got creative. They converted into a full time soup kitchen and food pantry Monday through Friday and a for profit takeout business on the weekend. They do it with grants and donations, and they're determined to feed as many unemployed people as possible until the money runs out. We've now been able to rehire uh, 10 employees to cook. Over 250 meals a day. It's a win win because we get to keep the lights on and our, pay our staff, but really we get to feed people, which is why we all got into this business to begin with. And the folks here are grateful for the food, but more so for the community support and the idea that someone is there to hold them up when it feels like everything is falling around them. Now we're all out of a job, uh, but we're all going to be okay because we're all going to watch out for each other, you know? In Williamsburg, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.